What would you wish on your worst enemy? Permanent Cheeto fingers. Just orange cheese dust getting on everything. A conscience. Let her realize the horrific things she's done. Bed bugs. Stubbing and breaking their toe and right as it's about to be done healing it happens again over. And over for the rest of their pitiful time on this hell we call earth. For them to realize how big of an asshole they are. Always being hungry two hours after eating no matter how large the meal. Slow internet. Traffic jams no matter the location. Self-doubt. Allergies. Favorite shows spoiled. Nothing major enough to be life-altering but constant. Low-grade inconveniences that wear on your soul every day. Genuine, true love or five million dollars? Why? True love because my true love is five trillion dollars. Could I find true love after I gain the five million dollars? Five million dollars. I would never have to work again and could use that to fund all of my hobbies and interests that I truly, genuinely love for the rest of my life. I'm gonna be really honest. I'd choose five million dollars. Having that much money means financial stability. It means not having to work for money, that wouldn't mean not working ever again. But doing a job you really love even if it doesn't pay well. I would be able to study without worrying about burdening my parents. I could achieve my dream of getting multiple degrees. Money isn't just money, it's opportunities. Without having to worry about money, I could focus on improving myself in every way, getting healthier, studying more, having a stable routine, reading a lot, overall becoming the best version of myself. I'll have plenty of time to find true love, improve relationships with friends and family and everything else. Five dollars. Show me the money. What's the weirdest sub? R. Sub Simulator GPT-2. It's all just AI bot accounts making Reddit threads. It is crazy how much it mimics regular Reddit. I forgot the name of it. But there was a subreddit where it just showed grandmas with pies they made. But it was titled as Hardcore Granny Porn. There's a few where PPL who self-arm post their fresh cuts and 80% of the posts are from minors in. They're all like encouraging each other to do worse it's RLLY fucked up. R. Kinky thermostats I don't think I need to explain why this one is bizarre. R. Picture Sophian sleeping. It's a sub where this guy used to post a picture every day of his roommate. Ian. Sleeping. Then Ian moved out and the sub died. But Ian has made a few appearances throughout the years since then. Definitely R. Alzheimer's group. People with depression. What is that one thing keeping you going? I have a graduation goal for now. Because I'm a first general college student in my family. I'd be the first WA bachelors and that makes my parents so fucking proud. It really was gonna be it for me before high school graduation. But I got accepted to college with a decent financial aid situation and small scholarships and stuff. The thing is though. That's the only thing I've had in mind that's keeping me going. But I'm graduating really soon so real talk. I won't know how to hang on after that. Hopefully I find another milestone for myself. That at some point I will wake up and see a beautiful sunrise and I will be happy for that day at least. If depression wants me dead so bad. It should step up and kill me itself like a real desis. I ain't gonna do its dirty job. I stay alive purely out of spite. Well you reminding me to think about what the point is sure isn't helping. That there are people who love me and rely on me. I'd never want to hurt them or have them suffer the aftermath of me taking my own life. So I continue existing for them despite having no intrinsic desire to live for myself. What critically acclaimed movie do you most regret wasting your time watching? A bunch of people in this thread don't know what critically acclaimed means. The English Patient. Good I hated that movie. 
Any movie described as triumphant by Hollywood is guaranteed to be the worst movie you've ever seen. Jerry. Casey Affleck and Matt Damon aimlessly wander through the desert for two hours. It seemed like an experiment to test the audience's patience. It is dull beyond belief. Avatar. Revolutionary? Yes. Visually stunning? Sure. Plot? Fern Gully did it better and in half the time. The English Patient. Do you ever check the profile of Reddit users you interact with? Why, why not? Nah. Mostly because I don't really care. When I get a weirdo reply, I usually check the comment history to see if it's a malfunctioning comment copy bot or just a regular weirdo. Nothing beats waking up to an unhinged 5,000 words essay about circumcision. Sometimes. If they seem fake I check their history. If they are argumentative I check to see if they are a troll or just enjoy a good debate. Basically I check when I feel like I might potentially be wasting my time talking to them. Yes, because I'm nosy. Sometimes people have an interesting story or post and I j subscribe, my brothers.